let's have the caddy package installed in our machine now since i'm using scope i'll be using the scope install caddy if you already have scope installed then you will update your existing package bucket and then download uh, caddy server unzip it and install in your machine Now that caddy is installed, let's check for the version. You can type caddy hyphen help, it will give you all the commands. Now, caddy space version will give you the installed caddy server version. Yeah, we got the version. All right then. So what we need is our configuration file for caddy that caddy will be picking and add the configuration to it so create our demo folder and open vs code create a new file rename it to caddy file So the configuration is really simple. We have a host name, let's say a local host, and a bracket. In that we have a respond keyword, respond, then a text. So whenever you type the host name in browser and hit enter, the caddy server will, will be responding with the text that you have mentioned it next to respond keyword. Let's head over to official website and uh, you can see here uh, we have localhost, localhost 2016, two blocks. So we need to start with caddy start command. Right now it's not working, so let's head over to terminal. Okay, seems like some parsing issues there. the caddy file is not properly formatted so once we update our configuration file we can type caddy fmt and it will give us where the syntax error is there whether it's formatted properly or not For now, I'll be copying the existing block from the official website. Let's see if it works or not. If it works, then we will fix our existing configuration file. Okay, there is some line number seven. I don't carry it from okay. Let us add a new line at the end of the file. Okay. Now it should. Okay, so there is no error. It is properly formatted. So I need to reload with caddy reload and then head over to browser and type the hostname. And it should give me hello world. Look at this tab and search for the other whose name the closed column 2016. Should be by one. Okay, there we go. Update the hello world text to something else and reload caddy server and see if 
the updated text is getting reflected in Chrome or not. Right. Great. So it's working fine now. Let's try with the reverse proxy with caddy. I have a sample example. Uh, it's a node Next.js application. So I'll start that application in my local host 3000 port. And we'll have our uh, local host block updated to proxy the request to local host 3000 port. Let me cd into that demo folder on dev. So to start that application port 3000 right I'll copy the address and update the local host block with reverse proxy now we're getting source code 200 but it's not coming let's head over to console oh, there's some error I need to reload the caddy server. Let's copy the same thing and paste it for local 2016. Uh, save it, reload. Okay, need to go to console. Okay, stop it and caddy reload. Okay, admin stop previous server. I think we're good. If I refresh, it should give me my next JS application. Yep. So the server is proxying all the requests to the block that we have mentioned in our localhost block. I will try to log into my application. It's name, password. successfully and we are successfully proxying all the requests to localhost port 2000 uh, service yeah we're getting all the data I do have HTTPS enabled and we are able to fetch all the data let's duplicate this one and go for localhost 2016 port if that is fine So everything looks good. We have a reverse proxy in our caddy config file and we're able to proxy all the request to localhost for 3000. Right, so I'll update the block with some sample code. Like this block is required. No, when this one format everything let me give the relevant file and get rid of the log so you can have a log on top of the configuration file that will turn off the admin mode with this server you can update the configuration file through endpoint exposed by caddy so with admin off that endpoint is no more exposed and uh, Right, so all the changes done to your application has to be reloaded. Okay. Another benefit of caddy is that you know, it uh, can deploy SSL certificate for your application. So it will have your uh, HTTPS enabled for an endpoint. Right. It is done by the on-demand ELS, you have an ask URL, whatever request that you, whatever request that you trigger, if it responds with 200, you have a 
successful certificate deployment that will be all for this video thank you for watching